Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a haul. I know, I know I do hauls all the time. I know I should save my money and not buy everything, but I, I can't do that. Um, I've been in New York for a few weeks and um, my mom came out with me for a while and we went shopping because that is what you do with your mother so I bought a few things most of these are like you know they're not usual Sephora stuff so that's really cool um, but yeah we went to a few different stores and I just wanted to show you guys um, also I just wanted to apologize for like the late upload that happened on Sunday's video the internet in this place is the worst internet I've ever come across. It took me three days to try and upload the video, so I'm really sorry about that. I, I'm i definitely working on a solution for that for next, for the Sunday, next video, whatever. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's head straight on to this video. And if you'd like to support me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss out on any more videos. Let's do this. <coughs> Okay, so I have everything in this beautiful e.l.f. bag, but I didn't get everything at e.l.f. Um, I got a few things in a few different places. I'm really excited. Okay, so let's start with the e.l.f. things. Um, yeah, <laughs> first things first is this tinted lip oil and raspberry truffle kisses. I already tried this because I couldn't help myself and this is an incredible color. Let me just swatch a roo. It is, oh, it's leaking a little. It's a beautiful color. It's very pigmented, but at the same time, it's oily. And obviously it transfers, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but as it like rubs off, it leaves a slight stain. It's not like super stains your lips, but it leaves a slight stain and I am digging that. I like it. Um, it feels very comfortable. Perfect for this time of year because I like color on my lips, but I don't like them to feel uber dry and like disgusting butthole lips, you know what I'm saying? Next from e.l.f. is this Shimmer Highlighting Powder in Pearl Glow. And by the way, I got all these things at the e.l.f. store in 23rd Street, I think. They have an e.l.f. store there. We went with my mom because she's wanted to buy the, um, the magnetic face mask thing from e.l.f for the longest time, but she can't find it anywhere. It wasn't there, but I did manage to get, you know, things for myself. So I saw this highlighter that I can't open, and this was $6, and this is a shimmering highlighting powder in Pearl Glow. Look at this. What you're mean about this is, like, it's the most pigmented thing I've ever seen. It feels super creamy. It is so beautiful and glowy, and you're not definitely not gonna be able to tell. But oh my god, it is beautiful. It is really creamy, really buttery. Um, I'm making a mess everywhere, but it's amazing, and I am all for it. I love it. I also got this e.l.f. lip exfoliator brown sugar thing. It's just a lip scrub in a lipstick form because this just makes things easier, makes life easier. It just looks like this. It's really, really nice. Um, and yeah, it makes my life easier. I don't have to like go into something and scrub. I can just do it from here. It was cheap, it was like $3, I think, so yeah. Next, I got the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm, and it looks, oh my god, it is so bright. Okay, yeah, this is what this looks like over here. And this is just like a, basically what it says is that this is a clear cooling balm that helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application. Enriched with purified waters, she, 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 and vitamin E to help nourish and moisture. Great for daily use and can be used on areas such as the face, hands, elbows, and knees. So you can use this in a lot of different places. Um, smells really good. It smells like Korean stuff like Korean skincare and it feels really nice on the skin I haven't really tried it on my face but very smooth and um it isn't creamy but it's hydrating if you you get what I'm saying and then last thing from elf I got was this blush brush I just 
um, saw this and saw that it was cheap and I don't own any brush that is like this tapered um, thing. I don't know how to describe this, but um, it's really soft. I wouldn't normally use it for blush. I mean, I could use it, but I was thinking more like highlight or setting under the good old eyes. I don't know. Gotta play with it, but I love it. It's super soft. It was very cheap. Definitely recommend e.l.f. brushes if you're in need of good, cheap brushes. Next, moving on to Sephora. I only got two things at Sephora, which is, oh my god, I, mean, I don't think I've ever only gotten two things at Sephora in my life, but... There's a first for everything. <laughs> so first I got the Make It Forever Aqua XL color paint in M16. It's just a white, you know, uh, base color, like shadow. I don't know actually what these are. These are like, okay, this is in French. Waterproof shadow glides on effortlessly to bring instant color intensity. The blendable gel cream is very sensorial, sensorial and the finish can range from light to high coverage. So. I was thinking about using this for, wow, it comes like really empty. I'm holding it, holding it up to like the sunlight and it's, oh my god, it only goes up to here. There's a lot of air in this. This is air. Oh my god. This was not cheap. <gasps> what the fuck? Well, you know, hopefully this works because it is clearly a scam. This is not a freaking... Dorito bag, you can't just sell air. Hello. Next, I got the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Gingerbread Scented um, Liquid Matte Longwear Lipstick in Gingerbread Man. Look at the box. Are you dying? Because I'm dying a little. Um, guys, I had never tried any of the Melted Matte lipsticks. I'm wearing it right now, and I can tell you that this is amazing. It's incredible. The packaging is the cutest thing, it's the most Christmas thing ever I am living. And the smell of this, I think I got it on my nose. It smells like slightly like gingerbread, but also like hot chocolate. And I am in love. I cannot explain to you guys how in love with this I am. The packaging, the most beautiful thing ever. The color, beautiful. Like, I love it. It goes with my freaking like jacket vest thing. It's just too cute. I love this. Um,. I'm going to be blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Okay, next I went to Urban Outfitters and I bought some stuff because they're having like a 20% off beauty event, which is like the craziest thing. Urban Outfitters carries a lot of different brands and they're having like a sale on a lot of things. So you know I had to go and pick some things up because they have some pretty cool stuff. Um, so first thing I got is this Moisture On Deep Water Boosting Mist from Nuni. I don't know what that means, but okay, I, don't, I have never heard of that brand before, but basically it looks like this. It's Korean because Koreans rock the beauty world. This is a 3-in-1 boosting mist that acts as essence, toner, and emulsion. The mist delivers instant and refreshing hydration for your skin. It's for your skin hands-free. That was weird, but um, let's... <gasps> Mmm. Wow. Oh my god, this feels incredible. <gasps> wow. I am very impressed by this, and I think I'm going to be using it a lot. Plus, this was originally $16, and I got it for less than that because I had they had like the 20% off beauty event thing, and then I received a coupon for 20% off my purchase because it was like my half birthday or something. It was weird, but you know, shopping a lot has its perks, okay? They give you discounts. The best part about those discounts was that um, they had this. Yes, they had this Violet Boss Pro Ride or Die palette. I've heard a lot of great things about Violet Boss eyeshadows. Never bought them because they're not super accessible and they're not the cheapest. So I was like, you know, I, I just never got around to buying them. But this palette was originally $75, and uh, they had quite a few at the store. And I was like, okay, with a 20% off from the beauty thing, I didn't know if that applied for everything, so I asked, and they were like, yeah, it applies to literally everything. Um, so I was like, I should get this with a 20% off. But then with the 20% off from like my coupon thing, it was even cheaper. So I got it for like $45, which is crazy because look at this. 
It's, it's bigger than me. I mean, are you seeing this? They have literally every color you could ever ask for. They, they're, they're not all mattes, but um, hello, they're the most beautiful shades. They have a little bit of uh, cool tones in there, most warm tones, which are my thing. But I love this palette. I am, I'm very impressed by the shadows. Um, I'm very impressed by the colors of this, and I'm even more impressed that I got to get it for $45. It's crazy. Um, I'm very proud of myself for that find because it was really good. Um, I don't think Urban Outfitters is having the their sale anymore, but if you did get anything from that sale, good, good for you. Good for you. I'm sorry I'm the most awkward human being in the world, but yeah. So I went to Blooming Dope because I was on the hunt for this Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color Pencil in Terra. I hear a lot of people talk about this one and they didn't have it at Sephora or Urban Outfitters. It would have been ideal if I would have gotten the discount, but I didn't. And basically this is just like a cream eyeshadow and this is the most beautiful color ever. It is like a warm terracotta, hence the name Terra color it is incredible it is very blendable but once it sticks it sticks I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it's this one right here it's honestly like so beautiful I love it um, I love doing you know one shadow looks and I think this will be perfect for whenever I don't have time to do eyeshadow but I really want something extra I'm glad I got this <laughs> next from Bloomingdale's this is another thing that I really, really wanted to try. I've heard a lot about RMS Beauty. Um, they have really nice highlighters. Lots of their things are very natural looking and, you know, good for the skin and stuff. So an average, like, makeup obsessed person might not be, like, the one to purchase these things. But I've heard a lot of great things about them, especially about their highlighter. So, you know... I spent $44 on this little cube thing that contains um, a highlighter, like a bronzy highlighter, a skin balm, and two blushes slash lipsticks. Um, this doesn't have a mirror by the way, which is sort of annoying, but this is what it looks like. The colors are very, very pretty. Um, this is like their best selling... Um, I forgot the word. Their best-selling highlighter. Um, so the pot was like 30 something dollars. So I was like, okay, for 44, you get more things, obviously. So I got this. Um, I've already swatched them and they're really, really nice. They feel very, very creamy. And the lipsticks slash blushes are quite pigmented without being like scary. You know, they're manageable. So I really, really like this. I think for my no makeup makeup looks, this will be perfect. So yeah, I was very excited about this. The day that I went to Bloomingdale's was one of those days when I just didn't wear makeup. I was not, you know, I, I barely even had like chapstick on. I looked horrendous. Um, so I was looking for makeup and you know, the lady that was there wanted to help me and she was like, oh my god, yeah, this is great for your skin tone, blah, 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 blah. I already know these things. She didn't know that I know. So... She didn't knew, she didn't know, I'm sorry. Um, so at the end she was like, oh my God, I'm gonna give you like so many samples. And I was like, thank you, yeah. I know nothing about makeup, I'm hopeless. Give me all the samples. Um, so I got a few samples. Um, first things first, I got the Cover FX Blurring Primer thing to try out. It's just like one of these little pouch thingies, but you know, I love Cover FX, so we'll see how their primer works out. Then I got the Super Goop City Sunscreen Serum with Vitamin E and B5. This is basically an SPF serum thing. And this is what it looks like. It's tiny, but it contains like 10... I don't, it doesn't say how much it contains. Crap. Um, but it's like decent sized, so... And then I got this Saturday Skin, which I believe is another like Korean skincare brand. Don't quote me on that. The Daily Dew Hydrating Essence Mist Spritz to Tone, Hydrate, and Refresh. And it's like a mini, so... Mmm, this smells weird. But, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And last but not least, I was super excited about this. Um, I got a Lit Cosmetics No... Um, stackable... What? What is the name of this? Lit Cosmetics Glitter Thing. 
and I was so excited about this. I was looking at the glitters and debating on buying one, but I was like, you know what? Right now, I don't have enough space for more makeup, even though I bought so much. Um, and I honestly, you know, like, what am I gonna do with this glitter thing? But I guess she saw me looking at the glitters and she was like, I'm gonna give her a glitter. And yeah, it looks like this. It's like a stackable thing, so you can stack more. Um, the bottom, I don't really want to open this because I know it's gonna make a mess everywhere. This is what the glitter looks like. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell or not, but yeah. Hello, focus on my face. Focus on my face. So yeah, I was very excited about that. Um, the glitter looks really nice, and I've heard a lot of good things about this brand, so I'm excited. I think that is it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this unusual um, beauty haul. I think that's what I'm gonna title it. Uh -huh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your recent purchases have been in the comment section because I'm always curious. Um, and yeah, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like me to do on this channel, also let me know. I'd love to hear from you, hear your feedback. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll definitely see you next time. Bye. Ay, ay, ay. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Shake Shack is my life. Okay. That was very weird. That was very weird also. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't know how to speak English. Like, I don't know, okay? Don't judge me.